Hey, what's up, YouTube and GPK fam? It's your boy Retro Hero back again doing Garbage Pail Kids Show and Tell. This one is number four. So in this video, we're going to talk about some things I picked up, um, where I got it from, how much I paid for them to help everyone out there, GPK on a budget. A cool item that I've never seen before that I was excited to win in an auction. Um, an awesome gift that my wife gave me just completely out of the blue. Thank you, Miss Retro Hero. You are amazing. Um, my artist autograph collection, not very big, but pretty stoked to have all these cards and pretty proud of my collection. So nice and diverse. Um, I'm going to rip into two original series uh, sticker wax packs, and we're going to look for a card that I don't have. And I'm going to talk about that story when we get a chance to rip into those. And without further ado, let's, let's jump right in. So... Uh, before I get and show anything else, this is a gift from Miss Retro Hero. Miss Retro Hero, thank you so much. Our girl here is Glowin' Amber. Glowin' Amber is the Garbage Pail Kid card. And this is from TrickOrTreatStudios.com. Glowin' Amber from TrickOrTreatStudios.com. Glowin' Amber is a foam display. And up here, you've got her little LED light. I'm going to pull that out battery operated so she can be cool like the cod and you know my wife saw this and she is just so tolerant of me collecting and taking over the basement with my nostalgia from the 80s and and we've been married a long time and she has always been supportive of what i collect and she found this and this thing is awesome i mean it's just absolutely beautiful i can't wait to put this on my display sh uh, shelf i did some research on trick or treat studios.com and they make like a bony tony mask they make an alligator mask um, they make glowing amber here as a display it's it's not super expensive and it's something that's going to be on my display shelf forever so thank you baby so cool and such an awesome gift thanks for supporting uh, all the stuff that I collect. So, um, second, we're going to jump right in to my garbage pail kid pencil bags. Now I actually had pencil bags when I was a kid. That's why these are kind of nostalgic for me. This one has a dollar price tag on it. Um, so I found a couple of these. I showed one in my last video. I've got more coming. I I've been getting them for a good price lately. Um, and they're about 10 bucks a piece. So uh, from what I think is a good price at least, this one is Damaged Don, Peg Leg Peter, and on the reverse side, you've got Jason Basin and Sumo Sid. Iconic cards made by Imperial Toys, still in the original wrapper. Uh, the second one I got is your girl Fran Fran and Jenny Genius. Other side, you've got Looney Lenny and New Wave Dave. So really, really cool. No price tags on these. They're all have the punched hang, hang tabs, but still awesome to add to my collection. Now, you've seen this already. This is Jason Basin, Sumo Sit again, and then the reverse side, Damage Don, Peg Leg Peter. It wasn't supposed to be this one. The seller made an error and sent me two of the same. This one was supposed to be the Atom Bomb one, which, man, I was stoked to get at that price because they go for 39 to 50 bucks. But he sent me the wrong one. I did contact him and he was like, yo, I'm really sorry. Uh, listen, I'm going to send it to you next week, early next week. Um, you don't need to send the old one back. So great customer service. When that happens, I'm going to give that seller a shout out on eBay because, you know what, that's really cool. So he didn't have to do that. Uh, this right here, I, I never saw these when I was a kid. And I was avidly collecting Garbage Pail Kids um from west fair drug right there west fair drug and a garbage pail kid jewelry set um never had one of these before i picked it up because it's got my boy right there as you can see up oh, chuck yo what's up um and then in the ring the adjustable rings you got your boy potty scotty and cranky frankie so really cool i i'm not going to collect a lot of these number one because they are expensive um or well not expensive but they're spendy for what they are um, they're usually 30 to 45, sometimes a little higher. Um, this one just had a best offer on it. I never see them for best offer, so I couldn't help but make an offer on it. And the buyer took it. So not in the best condition packaging. You know, it's got some writing on it. It was marked down at one point in time to 50 cents. But, you know, it's got up Chuck on it. So 
I'm all about collecting him and I'm gonna keep that. Um, the same seller sent me the pencil bags. This was just a package deal. Um, I, I've always liked Garbage Pail Kid wall plaques, but I, I don't have a lot of room to collect everything that I want. And these are way, way easier to store than those big wall packs, uh, plaques. Eventually I'll get an upchuck wall plaque. But um, anyway, these are the peel on stickers. They are the puffy stickers. The first thing when they came in, first thing I did is I grabbed them and squeezed them because so nostalgic. Remember the puffy stickers from when we were kids? Got your Nasty Nick, Up Chuck, of course, right there in the middle, and Junk Food John. Um, the two Garbage Pail Kid puffy stickers up top here. Really cool. The second one just came with it, and Schizoid Fran. So, uh, you know, if you remember the card Schizoid Fran, they pulled that and then went with Fran Fran and Double Heather instead of Schizoid Fran. So I don't know if these are just early or if there's a, a variation of this or if it holds any value it's just cool we got a neat foul fill there on the bottom but was excited and am excited to add those to the collection and then these i have seen before and have picked up before from kmart when i was a kid um these are the stick on name tags so you know you got nasty nick frying brian up chuck right there um so cool so 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 cool um w what it, or t g and y dollar 49 i i don't know what that is there was no TG and Y where, where I'm from, but, um, three packs of these. I think this whole sticker thing together was like $8 and 50 cents. The shipping from the seller with all this stuff you see here was just combined. So, you know, I, I got a really good deal on these and I'm, and I'm happy to add them to the collection. Last here, I've got, uh, the garbage pail kids high bounce ball. Now <laughs> I have been bidding on auctions. I, I kid you guys not 18 months. And when I bid, I am truly about GPK and a budget. I think I told you, you know, I got a kid in high school, uh, my other boys in college. Um, and, you know, my wife and I are on a budget. You know, that's just that's just what it is. So, you know, when I, I bid on these things, I can only bid what what really I, I, I give myself an allowance every month on what I can afford. And these things always go for way more than than what I want to pay for them. In this case, the seller, I, I bid on it. It was one of those late night eBay auctions and boom, I got like in the middle of the night, I got a, a message that said I won the auction. So I got my first high bounce ball. Um, I First things first, for those of you that's never owned one of these before, um, it is about the uh, three quarters the size of a racquetball is how big they are. They're not like the little, little tiny ones that you got in the uh, bubblegum machines. So you got Bent Ben here and Itchy Richie. The packaging's a little bent, not in the best condition, you know, again, but this thing's from 1986. So someone actually didn't rip open this is, is unbelievable to me. So unbelievably bouncy. These are those high bounce balls. Everyone played with them when you were a kid. So let's talk about this. This, you know, it's hard to see in the pictures. It looks to me like the ball here is yellowed. It is not the packaging. It is not this. You know, I, I, I did check with a little tiny bit of cleaner that would take off like if it was in a smoker's house or something like that would take off any of that discoloring. So this was probably in the sun somewhere and the ball just yellowed over time. They do that. They're made of that substance. So... You know, if you're buying these and you want to get into these and pay the price that some of these are commanding out here, make sure you get a clear ball would probably be my feedback. Um, but regardless, super stoked just to add it to my collection and it will be a treasured piece. Uh, we talked about something I've never seen before. So um, these Garbage Pail Kid balloons, they came up for auction on eBay. And I, I saw it right as it came out. I got a save search for like obscure Garbage Pail Kid merchandise, things that other people don't normally have in their collection. And this thing came up and right away I didn't bid on it. I, I just watched it for a couple of days. I think it was like a, a nine day auction or seven day auction. And then the last day I, I bid the minimum bid on it, uh, $5.50. And I was stoked to see no one else bid on it and I just won it. And... 
when it came in the mail, it, it again, Toys R Us is the price tag. I, I don't know how to read these. I don't know if that means 1991, um, but they were 97 cents and they are from 1986 Topps Chewing Gum Incorporated, Garbage Pail Kid Balloons. And if you look closely on the back here, the balloons have a Garbage Pail Kid figure on them. At least they have the banner and I can see a figure. I, I didn't tear them open. Um, and I didn't really want to pull on the packaging. It was starting to get a little loose up top there. So I'm just going to throw them in my collection. Again, I'd like obscure garbage pail kid stuff. It, it's fun to see what, you know, what a pop culture phenomenon these were from the 80s. I mean, they went on everything. And nowadays we've got cereal and hot sauce and, and energy drinks and, and cool stuff. So, you know, that's my hobby. I've been collecting this stuff for years, and to see it come back is is just really neat to me. It is neat to me. So um, that's pretty much what I picked up for, for new additions. Um, I was going to talk a little bit about my artist autograph. So I, I, I do have, oh, I don't know. It's, pro, it's not a very big collection. I, you know, I see some of these guys on the Facebook Marketplace forums, and... Man, they've got just pages and pages or stacks of graded cards and garbage pail kids, um, plates and autographs. I don't, I don't really have that many. Um, a majority of these, I, I pulled some of these from packs. I've traded for some of these. I've, I've even purchased a couple. But let's let's jump right in. So this card, this was on the garbage pail kids marketplace on Facebook, and I bought it a long time ago. I don't remember the seller's name, but Katie did it as the card, which to me is just an awesome looking card. The artist autograph is Katie Cook. Um, or, and, and congratulations, you now have a Katie Cook autograph, auto, uh, artist autograph on the back of the card. And this is from the 30th anniversary cards. So number one, the 30th anniversary cards are very collectible. Um, and, it, you know, to get one of these and add this to my collection, the minute this came out, I jumped on it and I, I probably got a pretty good price on it. I, I really like the Looney Leonard card. Um, you know, I was a big Star Trek fan as a kid. You know, it was on Saturdays. And, you know, we just had regular TV. We didn't have cable in the 80s. So um, when this card came up with the artist autograph, Miriam Kim, boom, I snatched it up again from the 30th um, anniversary set for the Garbage Pail Kids. And you now own a Miriam Kim artist autograph. So very cool. I, I showed this one live. This is what I got out of my hobby box um, from late to school. So that was my hit, my first Smoke and Joe autograph. Uh, and then these are numbered. This one is, is 31 and 35. Um, I pulled this from a pack as well. And this is David Gross. So David Gross is is the artist. And, and if I remember correctly, I believe this is from either Battle of the Bands or... Um, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but um, New Wave and Punk Sticker, 17 to 25, David Gross. This next one is David Gross again, and this one is 23 to 25. And we're going to jump right into Jungwa. And Jungwa autographs, I, I, I've i got a couple of them. Mostly, I, I, I've either traded for these or purchased them uh, because I like the card. So the slip and slide thing... Uh, what is this? 19. Oh, sorry. 10 or 19 to 25 is on the back. So hard to see in this light. And then I, I, I bought this off of eBay. I just like the card again, the Jungwa and bio and tech sticker. This is number 12 of 25 on the back and just a really cool card. As you can see, this one I pulled from a a Prime Slime Trashy TV, and this again is a Jungwa, and I, I pulled it out of the actual box, hobby box, and I, I watched Space Coast, Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, um, and pretty neat, pretty neat uh, autograph card to add to my collection. Over here, I've got a, just a ton of, no, these are Simcoe, so we're going to go to Brent Eng, Engstrom's, and I've got Backjack here, very cool. Toothy Tommy, Ren Instrum autograph, right here. Really cool '90s fad. I got milk is 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 or got Mike, I believe is is the card name. Um, just the rollerblade one. I, I think I picked that up on the Facebook Marketplace forum. 
just a really cool card right here. I'm super excited to have this as part of my artist autograph collection. Um, and he signs a little bit different each time um, he does these. And I imagine he's probably signing a ton of these at once. But um, this next one, Brent Engstrom again. So really, really cool. I showed this one before because I got this when I did a deal for the plate card, the gold card, and the artist autograph. And again, Brent Engstrom, very cool. And the last one is my Bukini Kun, and this one is Brent Engstrom. And I believe this is from the Oh the Horrible set. Um, the first one. So, and if I'm wrong, you can comment and let me know. Last few I've got is just a couple Simcoe autographs in Cl inside Clive. And I got this on a deal on eBay for the play card and the gold card. Um, I just always liked this card and it came up. Um, someone was selling one on the Facebook Marketplace forum. And so I picked that one up. Just an absolute beautiful card, nuclear strike. And of course you saw the gold and the plate for this card by Joe Simcoe. And <laughs> Laura Croft, a knockoff. Uh, Laura Cracker, Quackers, I believe is the card name. But Bukini Coom and a really nice addition. Joe Simcoe autographed my collection. So, um, video's probably going a little longer than I wanted it to, so I apologize about that. But let's, uh, let's get into a couple pack rips. So let's see if we can get that Ada Bomb or Blasted Betty live. So I have original series one through original series 14, 100% complete. In fact, I've got multiples of a lot of sets, multiples of cards from the original series one all the way to 14. I did purchase recently within the last year, a non die cut original series 15, non die cut, meaning the cards, typical garbage pail kid cards you can see in the background have a die cut to them where there's a design for the card non die cut are like the newer cards they don't uh, they're they're the full rectangle um so and and those are a little uncommon or are harder to come by but i i never received an ada bomb or blasted billy on my original series 15 set when i bought it a long time ago um it didn't have those two cards because they are like 1A and 1B Nasty Nick and Evil Eddie. They are um, a little more iconic. And this was the first Atom Bomb type girl. And it came in the very last um, original series Garbage Pail Kids set, which disappeared for a, a decade. And I said I, I could have traded for them. I could have bought them on eBay. But I said I want to get them out of rip and open packs. So whenever there's a good price on series 15 packs, I pick them up and I, I rip them open. This is, I think, pack number 10 and 11. Truthfully, I have opened that many packs and still have yet to get those two cards. So we're gonna, I, where I'm gonna open these up, um, the roller marks on the back of these, you can kind of see to know if they've been resealed because there is some value to that card, uh, Ada Bomb and Blasted Betty. So how you know if there hasn't been a reseal is by looking at those roller marks. And you can see those lines in the back of this wax pack. And that'll tell you it was done by a machine. So nobody has uh, searched these. So I'm going to open this up live. And let's hope I get Ada Bomb or Blasted Betty. Now, my luck... <laughs> I'll get the card and a piece of gum will be stuck to it. And if that happens, I will eat the gum. Um, all right. So, um, dim bulb, Bob, dim bulb, Bob, Cornelia flake <laughs> eating corn flakes out of the toilet. Oh boy. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Dap us. Oh, <gasps> Yeah! Woo, woo, woo. All right, so here it is. I'm going to eat the gum. I'm going to set this down. I'm eating the gum. I said if I got one, I'd eat the gum. Let me check the gum. Make sure the gum. Okay, so all right, here it goes. I'm going to eat the gum. Okay. Oh, it's crunchy. <laughs> oh, mm. I'm spitting this out. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. That tastes like the wax pack. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for Bud Light Lime and 
1988 gum. It is a nostalgic night. <laughs> if you haven't ever tried the gum, you can't die from it, folks. Um, unless it has, of course, something growing on it, which you've seen in a video of mine in the past. Um, but it is gross. It truly tastes like this wax paper. Um, but the reason I did that, right here, we got her live Ada bomb. Boom, 620A. Of course, she is off center. She's not going into PSA anyway. I don't really do a lot of PSA submissions. But uh, nice condition. Corners are sharp. Um, super stoked to get this card. Ada Bomb, I pulled her live. Wax pack number 10. Boom. Thank you. Last one, uh, Fairy Mary. <laughs> That's a cool card. Fairy Mary on the back. Sagittarius, the archer. Huh. I've seen a couple of these pictures on eBay lately, and they are original art from the Series 15 cards, and they're going for a couple hundred bucks. Um, you know, this one, this one. There's some wax damage to her. Yeah, well, that's pretty common, wax damage. But we got an Ada Bomb, no wax damage. Um, really, really nice-looking card. Of course, off-centered, so common you see those. These are die-cut. They have the design in them. And we pulled it live. Awesome. I couldn't ask for, well, I could because this pack right here could have Blasted Betty. Gum's a little loose on this one. I did not get these the same, but let's take a look at the back. Again, you're going to see that roller mark. Are you looking at that? That means that this is not a reseal. Um, I do ask for pictures before I buy these because, you know, these have been searched for Ada Bombs and Blasted Bettys because that card is, you know, about $20, $25 a piece. All right, open this up again. Um, <laughs> this time around, if I get one, I am not eating the gum because I still have that taste in my mouth. Whoo, that was pretty rough. And this gum, <laughs> oh, look at this. So this wax pack, you could tell this gum's pretty dirty. You know, it might have a little mold or mildew to that, but okay. So this might be a good sign. Um, now there is damage on this card. I'm going to give you a close up, but this was the first card in the first wax pack we opened, right? This is the first card in this wax pack. So if it mimics this wax pack, I might have gotten, I mean, live, no kidding, not search, not planned. I might have gotten both Ada Bomb and Blasted Betty. So uh, there is some damage. So obviously these were stored in a warm, wet place because um, there's the gum damage to the card. Sorry about the camera focusing, uh, but I'm going to keep going on. Nope. Okay. So th this completely different card, still very nice. Dean List, Dean List. Very cool card, puzzle back. Ham Actor. This is, you know, the final series garbage. Pit. Well, they did a 16, but they didn't release it. Look at these cards. Um, they look so different from the cards that you see from the original series. You know, they were more like a Cabbage Patch Kid. Um, these are, are weird, and I'm assuming that's why they kind of went away. People lost interest. Um, great Scott. <laughs> Great Scott. That's a cool card. Guy is playing Scott as the bagpipes. Cool card. Uh, again, back. And crawling, rolling. <laughs> That's so gross. Oh, maggots are coming out everywhere. So we did not get blasted Betty, but we did get Ada Bomb. So um, <laughs> I'm, I'm almost speechless. That's awesome. So one more card to complete out that set. So nostalgic for me to open these up. It, it reminds me of being a kid all over. Hey, sorry this video ran long. Um, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. I'll keep doing some Garbage Pail Kid videos. This is your boy Retro Hero saying see you all real soon again. Bye.